Hey everybody, welcome back to AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all things on the blockchain, doing what we can to help fill your bags to the absolute max while keeping you far, far away from Rex City. And today we're going to ponder a question. Is it time to sell our Ethereum and find ourselves the 100x altcoin gems to the moon as we enter the mid phase of the bull run and the finishing sprint for history has told us that altcoins have power and juice at the end of these bull runs but we are going to examine this question because time is limited and we have to maximize our results in this bull run so we have to make the good moves I am here to give you my opinion. I'm not a professional financial advisor. Do your own research. Crypto is very risky, but I'm going to share my strategies and opinions on the situation with you so that hopefully it can assist us all in maximizing this bull run. So before, right before we get to this question, guys, we're having a great NFT giveaway contest at the end of April. We're giving away a Guardian NFT from the Conflux Network valued at about 375 moon tokens. All right. That's about $900 US at the moment going up rapidly. Biggest giveaway ever on the channel. All you got to do to enter to win that is subscribe to the channel and write in the comment section i subscribed you get a shot at the guardian nft okay so let's take a look at why on earth we would ever consider selling all of or some of or most of our very precious ethereum for more risky but potentially higher reward altcoins okay guys so before we examine um this question of whether or not we should trade in some of our precious eth for altcoins with incredible 100x go to the moon potential. Let's take a look at Ethereum today. So it is at 1987, $1987, just about at its all time highs, guys. Ethereum is really set to explode. I think, and a lot of people think, that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin this bull run, which it has not yet done. So ETH's time is coming, guys. So we must get rid of our ETH or trade our ETH for different positions at a very, very high risk and with great caution because Ethereum is going to perform incredibly well in my non-professional opinion during this bull market as we get to the end of it, as it peaks, as it really goes blow off top parabolic, Ethereum is going to do really well. So with that being said, if we are going to go into an altcoin, that altcoin really needs to outperform Ethereum for it to be worth that high level of risk. And I know that's easier said than done, which is why a lot of people don't do it, but it certainly can be done. And I want to show you guys something. Let's take a look at the Ethereum chart <clears throat> from 2017. Now you can see that 2017 was an incredible year, went from you know relatively nothing, less than five dollars, all the way up to fourteen hundred dollars. So you're talking about less than a million market cap all the way up to eight hundred billion plus market cap in 2017. But we're in the middle of the bull market right now. All right, we have to admit to ourselves the bull market has started. We're somewhere in the middle of it. We nobody knows exactly where, but we're approaching that blow off euphoric stage at the end where it really goes parabolic. So when you look at the Ethereum chart from 2017, you can see that when we really hit that parabolic time, Ethereum had already achieved a market cap of around $310 billion. And after the parabolic blow off top, it was at 800 billion, okay? So that's a 3X. So it is conceivable that during the parabolic stage of Ethereum's run that it three or four Xs, okay? Which would put it, you know, somewhere around $10,000, which is a great price for Ethereum, this market, you know, this bull cycle. Some people think it could go higher, but if it got to eight or ten or nine thousand in market and in a price per coin, I don't think anybody would be disappointed. Okay, so with all that under consideration, let's take a look at the altcoin chart 
from 2017. So you can see that you're starting during the real parabolic blow off top for the altcoin market. You're starting out at about 40 million in market cap, okay? But look where you're finishing. You're finishing at 618 billion, okay? As good as Ethereum and Bitcoin performed in 2017, they did not touch this chart right here. So guys, we're talking about somewhere between 500 and 1000 X, closer to 1000 X for the entire altcoin market. Okay, so the entire altcoin market as a, as a whole did a thousand X in the 2017 parabolic stage of the bull run. So history tends to repeat itself with cryptocurrency. It's very cyclic. It's very, you can look at the history and, and nothing is guaranteed. Nothing's going to be exactly the same, but you can truly use historic data to predict the future sometimes with cryptocurrency. And I think it is very, very possible that altcoins will once again outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum by a good measure. However, it is fraught with risk because now there are a lot more projects than there were in 2017. Probably at least 20 times more projects out there. If you go to CoinMarketCap, you can see that there are over 3,000 cryptocurrency projects out there. What does that mean to you? It's harder to pick the ones that are going to really go parabolic. Easier to pick some projects that will do nothing, will be flat, or worst case scenario, go down to zero which is totally possible in cryptocurrency, which is why you should always do your research. But I'm going to show you some, some coins and some projects that I like and that just looking at them over the past um, you know, three or four months and seeing their price action compared to Ethereum's, you can see why I am very excited about altcoins during the parabolic phase. So the first one we're going to look at is Decentraland. So NFTs are the rage. Everybody knows that. Decentraland is a gaming ecosystem that utilizes cryptocurrencies, NFTs to have a real player owned great ecosystem. Okay, you can own land and the future is not yet written for Decentraland, but it is very, very popular in gaming circles. And if you look at the price action over the last 90 days, it was started at seven cents back in January. Now we're over a dollar. So that is a 20X for Decentraland, all right? And I think we're just getting going. The Conflux Network, another project that we follow here on this channel. Looking at the CFX chart, you can see that not long ago, it was trading at around eight cents, and today, dollar ten cents. All right, we're talking about another 30X situation. It was just at $1.50, and I don't think CFX has reached its all-time high at all. It is a large scale grandiose layer one blockchain. It offers layer two compatibility with the ERC20 Ethereum assets, <clears throat> but has all of the great aspects you would want in a primary chain as well. It already has an incredible decentralized exchange built on it called Moonswap, which has its own native token, the Moon token, which is doing incredibly well. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at it. Currently trading at $1.96, you look at that 90 day chart of the moon swap token and back in January, 13, 10 cents got as high as $2 and 20 cents. So again, guys, this is another 30 X situation. Duck Dow Dime. We talk about them all the time. DDIM, the Duck Dow team. These are how I get into a lot of the pre-sales I talk about. Um, if you're interested in that, go to duckdow.io and you can look at what it takes in terms of owning their native token DDIM and what you have to do to get into those pre-sales. But if you look at this token growth, again, $5 in October, now we're looking at almost $100. So you're looking at another nearly 20X and still got room to grow. Okay, Gala, another coin we cover on this channel. So um, January, a tenth of a penny, 0.1 cents today. Uh, 2.5 cents so clearly a 25x with the gala token and at a market cap of 182 million i think this could easily be a multi-billion dollar coin so i think it has a lot of room to grow of course guys do your own research anytime you're going to trade out of ethereum the coin must overperform ethereum to make it worth it because in my opinion people that just chill 
don't get greedy and hang on to their ETH are going to be very happy at the end of all this stuff too. So if you are looking to trade in that ETH to try and get some of that parabolic life-changing wealth, understand that you might have to hold that token while ETH does a 2 or 3x. You might buy that token for the reasons you like, and you got to do it for the reasons you like, based on your research, your passion, your interest in their community, and that coin's use case. You got to really like the long-term holdings that you have, because when you're holding that token, Ethereum could go parabolic, but you have to have the confidence that you, ch you made the right decision, because if you chase Ethereum, you're, it's going to dump on you, and the coin you were just holding is going to go off and it's going to be depression city. Seriously, guys. So we have to have conviction in our decisions. Choose wisely. But if you choose, and if you do choose wisely, I think there are riches to be had wandering around in the altcoin forest. As always, I want to thank you all so much for your time. I hope I brought value today. If you like what you saw, tap that bell so you don't miss future videos and we can ride this bull run together.